Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and today we're excited to start our Evil Genius 2 Let's Play. So this is a brand new game from Rebellion, obviously since it is a 2, uh, it is a sequel to a game that was made more than a decade ago. And it's about layer building, it's about conquering the world, it's about being an uh, evil genius. So I'm new to the genre and new to the game. Uh, but I really do enjoy layer building games in general and management sims, so that should feel right at home. And we're going to learn about how to play Evil Genius today. Uh, since this is new for me, we're going to be playing the tutorial. And once we you know, get used to the game, we'll start one of our own campaigns officially. So this is kind of a trial run just to get used to the game and to show you guys what this game is all about. So let's click to start. And as you can see, we have our first time set up. So literally, this is the first time I'm booting up the game. And um, I'm going to just take whatever the default mode is right now. Not going to go too crazy with any of the settings until I know how to adjust them accordingly. And uh, we'll be loading ourselves into a new game. So first things first, love the music, but I need to go down a little bit for us maybe just to a good uh, 60 percent so you can hear me and uh, we'll be starting a new game and we will be doing a quick start i guess oh so basically we can set up certain settings here and there's obviously a great sandbox mode for the future um, but there are quest related objectives in the game so we'll start with the regular game although i think this setup is pretty much what we'll end up going as but we want to show everything so first things first, you get to pick which evil genius you will be. So there is Maximilian, or call him Max, he's the <laughs> mega rich uh, megalomaniac. He was the original evil genius from the first game as far as I know. And uh, he's, you know, obviously take inspiration from a popular spy movie in the 90s. And uh, we have Red Ivern, so obviously we have our um, heavy muscle madman with a very communist theme, I would say. And then we have Zelinka, scientific mastermind. So basically what happens when Go Green becomes evil and each one obviously have their own special abilities related to the game. And we have a former spy master herself who turned into this poison pro um, as Emma, who walks around in a spider robotic chair and specializes in poison. So we're not gonna really dive too deep into all the characters today because we are just trying to learn the game and uh, we can do it probably best with Max. So we'll just focus on him. So Max has a couple abilities here. Minions, or uh, basically your goons, will work harder when they're next to Max. And he can also instantly complete any minion training near him. So you can train your minion to specialize in certain things. And lastly, Max knows when to rely on overwhelming numbers and when to get a specialist to do the job. Max can earn more gold reliably than anyone else and starts with additional minions. So we will start our campaign out with more uh, helpers, I guess, to help us build out our lair. And let's take a look at his history. Maximilian von Klein, uh, von Klein, small, I guess, uh, German there. And uh, he's not very tall, uh, in case you haven't noticed by these little legs we have here. We are generalists, so probably best to learn the game from. Threat level high, uh, we own a lot of things, he even owns you. You might not realize it yet, but he does. He fancies himself as a maverick inventor, although most of his creations go awry, usually resulting in the death of the person behind the trigger rather than in front of it. It makes no difference to him. Weapons are weapons, profit is profit, and other people are disposable. Why else would there be a need for weapons? Now, Maximilian is set to is setting his sight higher than a multi-billion dollar corporation. He'll do whatever it takes, run for president, hold a gun to the world's head, all in the name of profit. Everything he touches will turn to gold. So we are here to make money, and I love that, because that seems to be my playstyle in a lot of games. Um, we're very greedy, um, I tend to be more of a Max Min player. So playing someone as, you know, properly named as Max will definitely do well for us. So let's continue. And the next thing is we pick our starting location. Now these are basically preset islands. Uh, the premise of the game is that you own this island paradise, where it's a casino. 
at least as a front casino and hotel resort. And behind the layers in the mountains, you're building your secret lair, your hideout, and then different spy agencies from the world will come and try to infiltrate your base. You're there to defend it, to collect wealth, to collect intel, to kind of, you know, control the world by doing schemes all over the world map as well. So um, there's three islands you can start out at. Uh, there is Crown Gold, which is located here in the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the northern side. And we have, uh, what's this one called? Montanas? Gamelas? Okay, it's definitely more of a Spanish route here, so I'm not sure the pronunciation of the actual letters, but we have basically another island here, a uh, different style. Uh, I believe this one builds down because you start out with your base up high and then each layer of your base goes deeper and deeper, whereas the other ones are more traditional. You see the mountain goes up, your base is at the bottom, and you build up. And then we have one in the Indian Ocean here, uh, Kane's Key. And uh, another wonderful little island. I think this one's called the Donut. So basically each one will have a different shape and a different build layout to challenge you and play. Uh, we're gonna go with the most traditional one. Brown Gold is your classic tropical paradise casino. And uh, basically we're building into this mountain here. And we can have some details about the base. You can see the casino layout in the front. There's a little tunnel leading up to all this space that we can build out as our base. And there's a little uh, path to like a helicopter pad uh, where we can build up and you can see you can go up higher and higher. And this is probably where the you know missile launcher will go for the doomsday device because we are going to threat the whole world. And finally the tip of the mountain. And there's a basement with gold. Wonderful, wonderful little island. I guess it is called Crown Gold, isn't it? And uh, that's basically the layout that we'll be building from. And you can see that we're in the North Atlantic Ocean. Nearest continent to us would be Africa to our uh, southeast. We have beaches to distract the tourists. We have underground gold seams to supply us with gold. We are vulnerable to Patriot. So each of these um, acronym organizations are basically a spy agency in a continent. So I think Patriot is in North America. Hammer, I believe, is Europe. And basically each one of them represent a big major continent and uh, we have different levels of threat depending on how close we are to them I guess and these are like the forces of justice where we are obviously the forces of evil and this gives us how much uh, digging areas we have like how much eventually we can expand to you can see the different color of the ground and dirt and that's going to require different technologies to dig into like this light color and stuff we can dig into right away and then you know we need higher tech to dig into deeper and deeper and deeper so the total area at the end is much higher than what we can dig at in the beginning. And um, if we just want to take some pretty pictures, uh, beaches to distract the tourists, and here's the helipad uh, into like probably the elevator where we can put supplies in here. That's the tunnel we saw in the end. This is the front. Um, I'm actually curious about how much customization we can give to the hotel side of things and the casino because I actually really want to build out a casino. Um, I mean, but the game is mostly about being evil, so we're gonna have our lesson here and learn how to become an evil genius. We do have all the DLCs. I did pre-order this, so we get legendary loots. Um, I think I'm gonna turn this off for the tutorial run because these would just be like overpowered items or decorative items we get because we pre-ordered the game. Um, I'm gonna pass on them for now. If we do a full Let's Play in the future, I think we'll add them in then. Alrighty, and in terms of difficulty, I think we're just gonna go medium. Let's see, easy is like taking candy from a baby. I mean, we usually play on the hardest possible. Oh, there's custom as well. There's hard. You can also adjust different parts of the game. Okay. Right, we're not gonna do any custom stuff yet. I don't think we're gonna go on hard for tutorial. We're just gonna do medium on tutorial. Uh, it's a standard difficulty, a challenge, but nothing like a genius. Uh, nothing a genius like you can't handle. We are pretty familiar with. I'm pretty familiar with management games in general, so I think it should be fine. And then you know we'll step it up when we do the real let's play and play it on hard. But for now, we'll just play it on medium. Good isn't good enough. That's why we are the best. Okay. Agents are more than a match for your average minions. Okay, so the agents that come in will be stronger than our minion, and then we have to train our minion to be stronger than them or outnumber them, perhaps. Max, stop laughing real quick. 
Uh, gold is plentiful, but only if you're willing to work for it. Tutorial enabled. That's the purpose of this. We want to check out the tutorial. Let's go. Mm, definitely have that 90s vibe with all the panels. The boss have arrived. And of course the minions are properly dressed in yellow. the camera controls to move the camera around your lair. Now we can pause it real quick. So there we go. Moving around. Now use the rotate controls to rotate the camera. Hold the mouse wheel and move. Ah, okay. Free rotation. You can use the zoom controls to zoom in and out. There's our max. Use the tilt controls to tilt your camera. Tilt controls. Hold on. Okay, we got Who it. Who do you think you are giving me instructions like that? I, I'm here to help by telling you exactly what to do next in a friendly and helpful manner. But you are here to do everything I say. Correct. Step one. Tell us what you want and the minions will do it. We're eager to please. Uh, and also, e eager to live. Please stop looking at me like that. Your okay. lair will be much more impressive once it has more rooms. Open the build menu. Which is right here. Is you there need a hockey a place for that? to store your gold. Select the vault icon. We so the currency is just straight up gold, but okay, forty thousand gold dollars. Anyways, we want to build a vault. Paint tiles over the highlighted area. This will be where we'll build your vault. Ah, okay. So once we select a room type, we can just start drawing for that room type, like so. Seven by eleven. Is there money cost to this? No, this is free. Gold pallets will increase the amount of gold you can keep in your lair. Okay, and there's item types within one. Gold pallets. Stores a small amount of gold, offers no protection against rogues. So basically we're just here for storage. Yet the storage costs 3,000 per pallet. Yet it only stores 2,000 gold. Basically, we're paying 3000 to put the gold on wheels so that the rogue can steal it better. Ah, okay, so there is foot traffic requirement around these. And we're supposed to build six of them. Okay. It's best not to leave your gold sitting in the open. Add a door to your vault. A simple door delays agent, block line of sight, only slightly more advanced than a wall. Plus one power, 500 gold. Seems like everything is expensive. Now, is there a correct direction to the door? Like, is there a front facing? I guess the same on both sides, it seems. And we Once confirm you are all. Done, select confirm to give the order to your minions. Wait for your minions to install the door before moving on. Ordered furniture must first be collected from the depot under the helipad. Why don't we stay around Very and well. make workers uh, work a little bit faster? Here comes the minions. Get to work, boys and girls. Oh, wow. I'm sure we can take over the world with just that. Like a destruction beam and like a absorption beam too. All right, blow it up, absorb the debris. Even e wunderbar, wunderbar. Wang Klein. I guess we are a little bit German origin here. Evil minds think alike. We are getting this boost right. 
Oh no, it costs morale. I can basically boost them if I want. Time is money. Eh, that's okay. Well, we have a lot of minions. It's a lot of crew. New main objective available. Now your gold is safe. Let's add another room to the lair. Minions need to rest after a day of evil deeds. Let's build a barracks. Okay. Is there a... Oh, there's a planned space for us. Well, I guess that's the good thing about tutorial mode. It will just guide us through. Now, is there a way I can set the camera control to kind of default positions? Because I'd rather not rotate around with this all the time. I guess this is fine. So we'll just drag it out. I oh, automatically keep an edge, so you can't drag that part. Interesting. Beds give minions places to sleep when their vitality or morale start to run low. Okay, four Items beds. Can be rotated these look like bunk. With the rotate controls. So eight beds. How many minions Items do we have? Need to be placed next to we a wall. Twenty. Will automatically rotate. Place some beds on the other side of the barracks. Once you are done, select confirm to give the order to your minions. Open the systems menu. Optional objectives hmm. will give you small frequent challenges. Collect Free money? this one now for a reward. Come back here often for main objectives, side stories, and optional objectives. Okay, cool. New main objective available. Food. Food is an essential part of any minion's diet. Without it, they'll become more unhealthy and less intelligent. Much less intelligent. Build a mess hall. Whoa. You can rotate any item in your lair. Food you can counter. also move them after they've been constructed. Ah, someone's serving from one side and they're eating from the other side. Let's put the servers on the side and put the eaters on the middle. That's a lot of space required for food. The optional objective available. And I guess no doors for Basic them. Basic food counters restore minion smarts and vitality and stop stomachs from rumbling. Lockers in barrack. Okay. Now we're also building out the food. They want us to build two lockers in the barrack. Now what do lockers do? Our furniture is coming in too soon. Lockers increases your layer's minion capacity. You store their jumpsuit. 2,000 pop, three minions per locker. And these are supposed to go in the barrack, right. Well, let's see. The bed's getting summoned out, placed on the ground. Where do we have space for this? Ah, it fits pretty nicely in between the beds. So let's put a pair of locker here and a pair of locker here. They can share. Oh, we're blocking zones there. No, 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 no. Not confirm, not confirm. Basically, it blocks off the road to go to the bed. So we can't do that. Hmm. What if we... Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hold on. I want to pause things. There's space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if we do six, if I put one here and put one back to back. No, this doesn't save a lot of space. That should just move it. Hmm. Like this being four tiles is really annoying. I guess we can do this, just make the middle a changing area. It's not the most efficient space usage, but it's the most balanced space usage. There we go. Yeah, a little privacy to the bed. If the door here blocks the same setup on these beds. Well, it's a tutorial run. We'll build better on a real one. So basic food counter restore vitality. So they're coming in with the furniture. Wow, we got gold right away. I guess we have a ton of gold here. Yes, <laughs> Stop I miring. Need to be here. Very well. The food counters are not here yet. Uh, minions. Someone's grabbing it, right? Yes. So you basically get your stuff from here, from the helipad. 
and uh yep they have it in the little cannon that teleports stuff and they're gonna bring it over four things and each of our minion has vitality have smarts have morale and has a trait so magic trick is good for maybe a host in the front in the casino we haven't even checked out the casino yet but uh oh it seems we're low on power let's fix that before continuing Let's see if we get more capacity. You can place this where you like, but be careful. Yes, so it did increase. A tempting target for enemy agents. All right, power station time. At least 64 tiles, so like an 8x8 eight eight type of thing. Um, target for enemy agent. That's our casino front. I mean, the gold is also Option not exactly objective. safe. Complete. So maybe we can put it next to the gold, but then we don't. We only leave one wall by it. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's pretty wide, actually. See, this is eight. This is eleven deep. Hmm. All right, it's not very big. Generators power items in the lair. Without it, oh, but we need a door. Will Be careful, as right. enemy agents will attempt to Doors sabotage your generators four if they wide. Find and then these are generators. Well, these are huge. I can maybe put two in here. I'll expand this later. We'll start by putting them at the edge of the wall. We need two generators right now. Hmm. I should just start expanding this room a little bit more. Hmm. Hold on. They're also quite wide. So I want them to be about this width, right? So we don't waste space here. And it doesn't seem like they need any foot space. We just need to build them. It sure is dark, isn't it? Are you scared? No. Okay. Me, me neither. Put that there. We'll get the shape of the room more symmetrical later, but I think this is fine. Um. Then we'll dig out this part too. Because why not? And then I think three width is how wide this is. And if we want to add more later, this will fit perfectly. All right, good. I'm happy with that. Let's get our minions going there. And we can collect our reward from earlier missions for the locker. Alrighty. Seems to be other things we can build now. More corridor. Dirt. We can add dirt. Oh, I'll kind of redo, like reverse building. We can also speed things up, of course. I'm thinking. So food is going. Oh, we just need these power up quickly, huh? Let's uh, boost people. Faster, faster, faster. Evil minds think a lot. We're using. Morale, but 0.2 per second. All right, they're going. They're I going. Need money. I need to be here. You're getting the generator from the helipad. Let's go, boys and girls. There we go. Why would I do that? Evil minds think alike. Defeated How much power do we need? Lie in body bags on the floor, causing minions to lose morale if they get too close. Build an incinerator in your power station to dispose of them. Ah, carbon neutral, you can say. Burn down the enemy agent body for energy. Very efficient. These are what, two by three with a little foot traffic there? Um. Hmm. How do we want to build this to make things a little bit more symmetrical eventually? I mean, I guess I could put one just like straight by the door, but it wouldn't make a lot of sense because it's like three by three. 
and we kept it for width in the middle. Maybe I can make a little alcove. Let's see, four by four. I'm gonna make a little special alcove just for the incinerators. This is where Agent goes to die. New main objective available. Open the character selection panel, then select the evil genius portrait to highlight and follow your evil genius. With the evil genius selected, interact anywhere in the highlighted area to move your genius. You need a control room to send minions into the world. Let's lay down a plan for one. Okay. New room. A control room. What items are in the control room? What's the shape? Three by five. Okay. Hmm. Three by five, but the door has to be four width, so that's weird. Ah, so here's where I can put maybe some of that dirt back. Just to make things more even for us. Oh, but that, that potentially could be a door, I guess, right? Because it's four deep. Maybe that means we should put the room here. Hmm. 48, they say? So we need 6 by 8. And then we Radio need to put repeaters the door. provide broadcast strength, allowing us to maintain criminal networks across the globe. Yeah, but the shape is not desirable. We can fix that, actually. Why don't I, you know, the put some dirt back on? The more strength you generate with your radio repeaters, the more of the world you can infiltrate. For now, let's just infiltrate a little bit. Hire six more minions. How do I hire? Wait, do, do we auto hire? Are we auto hire? So we need two more lockers, basically. Okay. Maybe the barrack expansion is what needs to be coming next. We can move stuff around once the missions are done, so I guess we don't have to always keep this set up because it doesn't look very optimal here. Let me play around with this. So, I would like to move these lockers so that they're kind of like this. That's more efficient. We can probably just expand it by one tile, actually. That would probably... Actually, no, this way. Bring it back. Hmm. Yeah, actually. Wouldn't this be more efficient? Because they can share the foot space. Seems better. Wow, minions had to do everything. Go, go. Max, what next? Very come well. here. Big construction Build project for you. If you want more Schnell. Schnell. It is definitely German. Faster, faster. I is money. Zap zap. And our little locker room here is, well, barrack is complete. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. And then we have to go back to our radio generator rooms. Who's delivering this? Ma, who's so slow in delivering this? Get to work. I need well, the problem is the guy who's delivering is not in this space. He's coming. There he is, probably. And with this, we can start planning world infiltration. No, this is still a locker delivery boy. 
minions on their way. Well, where is he? It's one of them. Now, all of them have interesting... So she's a good shot, but also a poor shot. Interesting. Ah, oh, it's here. It's here. New main objective available. Thank you, Min Jun Chan. World stage. And Each of the highlighted regions is an excellent place to start your journey towards world domination. Select a suggested region, or any other region if you know what you are doing, and scout it to establish a criminal network. Uh, we obviously don't know what we're doing, um, so we're recommended to go smash this in South America and Mexico. Canada and the US is guarded by Patriot. Europe is guarded by Hammer. Africa is guarded by Saber. And Asia is guarded by Anvil. Okay, so... I think since we are of German origins, let's go to Central Hammer District. It will take us three workers, 30 seconds, broadcast ring one, just to scout it out. You can speed things up by selecting fast forward at any time. Yeah, we've kind of been doing that. Also, built, oh, they're being sent out. Use our criminal network to run schemes in this region. They're actually going there. Are we getting paid? Do we not auto hire? Oh, we're, we're building up to that capacity, but we're not there yet. Optional objective complete. Oh, I think we did it. No, waiting for them to arrive. Are they going to literally fly out? Many of them waiting for transport. Three out of three. Oh, they're actually... Wow. Okay, that 30 second of constructing criminal network here. I'm all packed, boss. Send me into the world, and I'll come back with plenty of gold. Come back? You think you are coming back? No, I'm not having you coming back here, tracking justice all over the place like mud. They'll follow you right to my door, and then where would we be? Take a little gold for yourself, then send the rest back here. Use your share to live a quiet life. Or else... Minions will okay. travel to the world and run any scheme you select. You will receive small amounts of gold as they progress. So, bank robbery scheme. It all begins here, the first of many robbery. A dedicated team of workers can breach the vault, make a getaway laden down with gold. We will gain 10 heat, we'll get 5,000, require two workers. I think we have three on the ground, or maybe we sent two more new ones out. Maybe that's how we get rid of workers. But time to find out. Right, so whoever we send out will never come back. Good to know. New main objective available. A prison will make for the perfect place to hold your enemies before questioning them. A prison? Let's put that by oh actually by the door? We want that deep within the lair, wouldn't we? Next to the barrack perhaps? How big? 56 tiles. Okay, so first we gotta find a doorway. That's the door. And that's our These holding, holding cell. cells hold one prisoner each. If you don't have any free cells, your minions can't capture people. Oh. Well, these are three by three. Hmm. Let me make the room a little bit bigger. Maybe go all the way down. I guess we're expecting a lot of company. Yeah, they can face the wall here. They don't need to see each other. Once this built, we can use it to make prisoners tell us their secrets. Four cells for them, and a couple of interrogation here. Hmm, let them see the interrogation or don't let them see the interrogation. I guess it doesn't really matter. 
New main objective available. Experiment with interrogating Maybe a agents. Pair. You never know what secrets you will uncover. We want additional. To complete this Ooh. construction. We're poor. Maybe the holding cell is too expensive. But it feels like we have money. Anyways. We need to expand our radio room. Which is right here. We want another one of those radios. I think it's like five deep. Because each one can do like one thing. Too much money spent on prison cells. Yeah, what about these casino stuff? Cannot be salvaged. But we can sell them. Oh, we're supposed to clean up our casino side of things. It also give us money. Oh, this has value. Right, previous owner left these. We can sell them. A scheme has it succeeded. Can be sold. Ooh, we bank robbed. So we robbed the bank somewhere. Uh, let me exit the. No, 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 no. We have to confirm. Oh, this is the casino build out. Uh, yeah, let's confirm all the stuff we sold. Go back out. We have increased our heat, I think. Upgrade our network. Ring on me. She's the queen of pop or just a pretender to the throne? Either way, we're going to nab some of her outfit, auction them off. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Six workers, three minutes. Budapest Exterminator. Famous Assassin. Ah, oh, this reduces heat. Costs money, I think. Ah. Clock New blocker. Objective available. Oh no, we're short on power. Select a scientist scheme. Uh oh. Special schemes are often highlighted on the world stage with colored signs. Keep your eyes open for these important schemes. That should last us a little bit. And that's going down. Science schemes. Where, where, where? Ah, green colored. Optional objective complete. We will get one scientist back for doing this, but once our power goes, wow, our power is going down really fast. Because we build new stuff. Maybe those uh, extra holding cells uh, really overdid it. I don't even think two generators will do it now. Hmm, maybe it's time for a little bit more remodeling on this side. So... New optional objective available. Uh, how do I? Oh, let me take that, idle. but then I want to move that. Build mode. Move. Hmm. I'm gonna build the alcove again. I like the alcove idea. Alright, power's back on. Back to scheming. They want us to do a scientist one. We can do the scientist one. Once complete, the scheme will yield to a fresh faced scientist. Nice. So oh, two minions going to leave us, and uh, we need more minions, so we need to expand our barrack, and so forth. But what about our casino side? I want to start the casino business, because it feels like all these are leftover stuff, and we have to build new stuff if we want to attract proper business up front. Broken fountain... yeah, just sell it. 
Broken welcome desk. Man, everything is trash. Except for the plant. Oh my god, again? Really? What about where's our new generators? Hmm. I don't like how this space usage is going on either. Let's see. What about uh, just expansion? And we just pile in a bunch of these. Wait, did I overdo it? Oh, there's one little slit, which is fine, because unless we can efficiently pack it in, no, we can't, but we can expand to make that work. Oh, edge of the rock. Let me just give me all that space. Hmm, these do not look very neat, but okay. We need more power, so get on with it. Go, go, go. Do work, 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 work. work. Minds think alike. I feel like these should move to... I'm ready to oh. uncover the mysteries of the universe for you, boss. What do you want me to research? Interesting word, research, implies you are searching for something a second time. <laughs> You better not be charging me for the same work twice. You're Your new scientist very mindful of our money. That we can use a training room to teach our slack jawed minions how to do specialist jobs. Get one built, and you can find out for sure. No, I want I want to fill it up with dirt. I'm going to move it first. Your broadcast strength has run out. Because they're being moved. There must be a way for me to fit more of these in. Throw this to the side first. Looks like we just need a lot more generators. This is definitely not a puzzle that uh, we did well here. Um, I mean, I can just stack the hallways really tight. That looks so bad. Let me just put that there for now. I was hoping to get this a little bit more width back to that side. That way I can expand that room a little bit more. No, not there. Something like that. The criminal networks are idle. Consider running some schemes. Right, right, right. So much stuff to do. wrong oh right because the room type is different that's fine uh they want me to move some stuff first is that what they want me to do I move them in those spaces won't be so invalid anymore i'll move the door oh wow uh, what you here for now? Uh, it's awkward to move the door before you can move the wall, isn't it? I think now we can do it. Ah, uh, one more, one more. Can 
No? Well, I don't I want I don't want to build a new door. I want to move this door. Oh, that's why it was not letting me. It was intercepting the door. It wasn't the item size. Voila. All right, that's done. And then here we can just let this be. Hmm. Just getting the generators right. Yeah, we'll leave a little bit of walkway between each one. And then this area. We'll set up the incinerators. Now just close this part out. Might as well get two of them. We'll close this area out as well. We'll come back to use that later, but right now it's gonna keep everything tight. Ooh, a lot of stuff to do. Where is our guy? Go, 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 go. Alright, everything's getting moved, running out of power. Scientist appears, we can use a training room to teach our minions. Training room. Hmm. I mean, right now we have no power. What items? Store. And these are what? How big? How big? 3 by 4 Okay. 64 tiles. Let's punch the room door here. That will do it. Although, 3 by 4 you say. Do that. Each specialist minion type requires a trainer of its own. Request a scientist trainer. Once built, you will be able to instruct your minions to train as scientists. Having Not more scientists gold. will speed up future research. Like more gold from schemes. We gotta go put in more schemes. No, we want to make some money. Someone who claims to be a super spy. Okay. Training room going. Making money going. We should get more minions. So the barrack needs expansion, really. It's really small. New optional objective available. Although we're not exactly rich now, are we? Uh, undo that one. Might put in another door here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. They can kind of guard the vault area too. Not enough gold to complete this construction. We will have more. I'll go get more gold. Where's our casino side? There's stuff we can sell. Mm, sell, sell. And we, we should be building stuff here too. Room type. Training room, no. Main objective available. With the correct training furniture uh, built in your do training yet. room, you can request that your minions train to become specialists. Head to the minion this? training screen to request training of some new scientists. 
Uh, so we got scientist training board going on over here. So we don't want to be in build mode for this. You should request two scientists to be trained. Oh. Thankfully, we already have a scientist, so training another should be a breeze. If for some reason one of your scientists disappears, another minion will instantly train until they have this many in your lair again. You Target slow. amount two. Your okay. workers will start to train automatically. They'll learn faster if another minion is able to teach them. What is it now? Very well. We have two stations, right? Well, that's 5%. We can instantly last, complete training, I, I believe. 60 smarts. I see potential within you. But does he become a scientist? Oh, yes, he does. Available. We get Your a minions bonus will need for somewhere that? to perform their research. Plan a laboratory. I don't get paid for that. I'll complete one scheme. We're going to do that soon. Laboratory. A lab, as we say it in America. Um. 50 tiles, we're running out of space, we need to build more corridors, I'm like, packing everything in too tightly. Um, hmm, right, we're actually out of, kind of out of space, let me put a corridor down here, go four width, open up a new zone here, and uh, maybe we can build a building here. Right, maybe over here. Kind of far from everything else, but this is just a test run of things. Go door. I'm assuming there is a door requirement here. Yes, there is. A whiteboard is essential for scientists to perform research. As we unlock more potent research, we'll need to provide them with more advanced equipment. Impact Analyzer, Data Bank, Whiteboard, Unlock Research Options, <laughs> looks a bit green, but green board doesn't have the same ring to it. Max, hmm. supervise please. Money. Didn't I promote you already? I will not do this thing. No, no, I don't, did I click that? Oops. We're... A little bit low on think a light. A little bit low on the smarts here. Wunderbar. Alright, still beaming out for schemes. That one's quite slow. New wow, 30 minutes. Oh no, no no, we're not canceling it. This truck whiteboard. All that go, go, well. go, 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 go. Yeah, we need to do more corridor planning in the future. I need to be here. Evil minds think alike. I are six more minions. Wait, we have a bunch. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm very well. Fast, fast. Time is money. Wunderbar. Our amazing research room with Optional one blackboard. Objective. Complete. I need to be here. 
Oh, the scientist automatically went in. Time is it's like, let me let me wait in this corner. And here comes the whiteboard. Open the research Open the screen. Research screen and take a look at all the diabolical opportunities. Choose any research project and set your scientists researching it. We increase suggest increasing our your stats. capacity, but ultimately the choice is yours, oh wise one. Layer cap. Okay. It just research I mean this has begun. basically saves some research locker space, I guess. Time, and our scientists will let us know when it's complete. Head back to the lair you can to work continue faster too. your world domination. Notice how your minions come running to help. This can be very useful when you want to give the productivity in your lair a bit of a boost. If your genius isn't in the busy room, try moving to somewhere there are jobs to be done and try again. Now what about our casino side of the business? We're inspiring our minion. I'm working very hard at that. Evil minds think a light. Wait, did I turn it off? Oh yeah. Let's keep it on. Boost, boost, boost. I'm sure you two chatting with the scientists would definitely help this one on the blackboards. Available. Side stories are objectives that will unlock powerful additions to your empire. All right, we got ourselves a side story. You should story. start by learning about how guards work. Once you have done that, you can learn about new minion types. Right, so we can improve our. So other than scientists, we can have guard minions. What we need is a little more muscle around here. You there? How much can you lift? Do you even lift? About 70 kilos on a good day, 80 if I use both hands. Ooh, 10 kilo on the left arm? A bit weak there. Uh-huh. And how many bullet wounds can you take before you give up? One, maybe two. My point exactly. Get out there and find someone strong. Learn their secrets. Many objectives require you to send different types of minions to run special schemes. Let's go to the world stage to get started. One of the highlighted ah. schemes is near one of your criminal networks. Kidnap a guard. You can send minions to complete the scheme now, or you can search the globe for an alternative. We're currently engulfed in this long one where we're trying to take all the money. Um, it's going to take us a while, but it's supplying us with a good amount of money, which is important. And, um, yeah, I think what we will do is actually just end our episode here. We'll return as we continue to tackle the tutorial. Uh, the building of the base is a mess right now, and oh, the gold is really blingy. But, uh, but we don't even have the casino up and running, which I'm a little bit disappointed. But I don't think we have those building options up yet. Right, I don't think, like when I select one of these... No, 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 I don't want the dirt. No, 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 don't, don't, don't destroy anything here. Oh, there's decoration items too. Let's say, like, I want to move this. That's for selling only. Yeah, we just don't have access to those yet in the tutorial. Oh, no, no, can we undo that? There we go. Yeah, we'll end the thing here. Uh, we'll come back and we'll learn about guards and um, continue the tutorial until we figure out the game get comfortable with all the room type get comfortable with all the mission setup and we'll be off on the world on our own we won't even be playing max we'll play as one of the other evil geniuses probably on the south of uh, the indian ocean map uh, just to spice things up a bit so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and see you all next time bye